We're continuing Law Week here on Take Two. Every day this week, we'll be talking with a legal expert about a different legal topic. And this morning, we're covering general court procedure, and we're joined by attorney Chad Ow. Good morning, Chad. Well, oh, good morning. Thank you for having us. Of course. So happy to have you. And especially when it comes to this topic, because a lot of things have changed during the pandemic. So how exactly is district court operating and what's changed since the beginning of COVID? So these days, um, everything is conducted by Zoom, um, unless you have a permission to appear in person. Um, so prior to the pandemic, people needed to appear in person or by their attorney. So these days, we have seen more participation in the courts from the public than we have pre-pandemic. Um, also, the front desks have shortened their hours. So if you need to file any motions or pay any tickets off, it needs to be done between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. It used to be until 4.30, but not anymore. It's 12 p.m. now. Okay, good to know. So limited hours as well. And what exactly happens? So say you get stopped by a police officer and get handed a traffic ticket. What do you do from there? So once you get for parking and infractions, um, you must answer within 21 calendar days from the date of receiving the ticket. You can do one of three things. The first option is admit and pay by mail, in person, by phone, or by visiting the judiciary website. Um, second, you can deny by written statement, in person, or by Zoom. Or three, you can admit with explanation. For traffic crimes, such as driving without license or excessive speeding, you would need to appear on the date that is given on the bottom right corner of the ticket. Um, specifically for in-person hearings, if you don't have an attorney who can ask on your behalf, you can either send a letter or drop off a letter a week in advance to the proper district courtroom with your name, citation number, and a brief explanation that you want to appear in person. Either way, permission to appear in person has to be approved by the judge before the hearing. If you don't get permission beforehand, you might get turned away, so plan ahead. Um, alternatively, if you're unable to appear by Zoom, you can call the Supreme Court Library to make an appointment to use the remote hearing laptop stations. Okay, good to know. And unfortunately, of course, the traffic infractions as well as speeding, very common. And we've been talking as well about how speeding has even increased even more so during the pandemic. So this is, of course, good oh, yes. to know for the general public. But of course, we all should be as safe as possible on our roads. But for those who need to know, how do they know exactly which courtroom they have to go to? Or if they did want to do the Zoom, how do they go about appearing by Zoom? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so for traffic infractions and traffic crimes, you can find the court location under the summons portion of the ticket that should indicate the court location. There are five courts located on Oahu, which are Honolulu, Kaneohe, Eva, Wahiwa, and my personal favorite, Waianae. Um, you can check for the Zoom number on the judiciary website under the remote court hearings tab or call the district court you are supposed to appear before and the court staff can provide that for you. It's helpful to get the numbers early so you don't have to scramble the day of the hearing. Oh, yeah, good to know. And, and why is that your favorite? Or do you work on the west side? So I'm stationed out in Waianae. Um, unfortunately, my last day was yesterday, but I will have them in my heart forever. Oh, okay, wonderful. All right, and then real quick, what exactly is a summons and complaint? That's another common question. Mm. So in district court, um, a summons generally is a command by service to appear in court and can be found on the citation or by a letter sent by the courts themselves. Um, this is done by mail or delivered to the individual personally. Um, a complaint is a formal charging instrument by which a person is accused of a crime and will be a plain, concise, and definite statement of the essential facts constituting the offense. You will typically see written complaints in cases where the charge is a misdemeanor or a crime punishable up to one year in jail and a $2,000 fine. Situations where the individual was arrested and DUIs or operating a vehicle while under the influence of an intoxicant. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and for their initial hearing, what typically happens? Mm. So for the infractions and parking tickets or cases that don't include jail as a penalty, the judge will evaluate the citation and find for or against the state. You will typically be asked the same three questions I mentioned earlier. And when you answer a citation and a trial de novo can be set at that time or a trial with the judge. Um, for traffic crimes or criminal citations, cases where jail can be included as a penalty, the prosecutor, myself, um, will arraign or explain what you are being charged for. And if we can't work something out then, 
you will get a further date to reappear and will be referred to the public defenders or allow you time to get an attorney. As a practical matter, um, I would always have something to write down on when a judge is talking so you can take notes and be prepared for yourself. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Chad, for joining us this morning and breaking down that information for us. Again, unfortunately, a lot of times when people do have to head to court, there is a lot of confusion. So I know you cleared up a lot of those frequently asked questions. So thanks again for joining us. Definitely. Mahalo. Ahoy ho. All right, and again, this is Law Week. Throughout Law Week, volunteer attorneys like Chad are going to be available through HSBA's legal lines. They'll be answering questions, providing legal information to the public, and it's all for free. So call 537-1868 from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Wednesday evening from, well, through the 13th, again, through this week. And today's topic is general court procedure. So I'm sure... Chad just answered some of your questions, but if you have any more, make sure you give him a call today.